This is a HeadGum Original. Jake and Amir, two Jews that you can't forget. In 2010, they were big on the internet. And all things considered, their success is more than fair. Now here's one more effort for only positive motivations, they swear. Seven. Another podcast. Seven. Each app different from the last. Seven. It's the Swiss Army Knife of Show. Meet you two emphatic hosts. First ever guest. Not true. Jeffrey James. I'm honored. I mean, it's virginal. We've what can had I say? Your parents on. You it's are sort of a debut. Hyman today, sir. <laughs> uh, yes. Wow. Treat me gently. <laughs> no, but Ben Blood. was. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a fissure. Yeah. Anal, yeah. Uh, specifically. <laughs> and otherwise. I have a penile fissure. Ben. I've never heard of that. <laughs> ben was on the show too. I uh, we recorded together over Zoom. Okay. This is our first maybe in studio, in studio guest because your parents also did it. Oh yeah, we were they were in, in the studio. other. Yeah, they were in the other room. This is your first yeah. not huge get guest. <laughs> exactly. You have the Hurwitz parents. Guess. Right. You that have an A list. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, uh, we didn't plan on much. Yeah. We didn't plan Head on gum much. Headgum podcast style. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. kind of, it's taste amount medicine. <laughs> yeah, waxing. I figured this, this would is, be this a, is wax. a waxing episode. Even Casey had like a little blip setting up, and yeah. I was like, this is what it feels like. <laughs> we started late. It feels right. It feels nice when other people are sort of in charge, right? Yeah. Uh, well, this is Segments, our new podcast. We're trying to come up with so many segment ideas to go through all of them, but mm -hmm. we literally yesterday ran out. <laughs> we had a, a laundry list. We did them all, and now today... Yeah. Well, it's because you're banking it. Well, this is the fourth episode we've recorded in yeah. three days, right? That's a lot. That's, That's a lot. too much. I'm brain dead. Exactly. I have Zoom And that fatigue. was before. <laughs> that was way before we did this. Uh, so I thought today's episode could be... Nice try. <laughs> did we catch that on camera? That was I insane. caught it on For couch. some reason, that we didn't. Really? <laughs> yeah. The cameras were not working in that moment. Unbelievable. If you guys are watching on YouTube, we appreciate it. Namaste in 4K. Yeah. I literally caught a pillow left-handed blindly. <laughs> not fine. blindly. Not I like blindly. lifted it up pretty high. Yeah, I, I think I gave a lot of warning that I was going to toss it. You don't have segments. So you're dragging out the wax portion. You're dragging out the intro. I know how this you're works when you don't prepare. <laughs> it was a really funny moment in the HeadGum podcast that made me laugh so much. You guys can see. It was. <laughs> it was. Do you know what I was gonna say? No. <laughs> like a bunch of people were talking, and then I was trying to interject, and nobody was listening to me. And then you were just staring, at me and you said. Okay, so the reason nobody's paying attention to you right now is that there's a generation gap. You're, and, that, and that will only get worse as you age. Nobody respects your opinion because you're older than them. Like, everyone is having a fun conversation. You're staring at me. <laughs> Yelling my worst fear into my like, headset. It's like you're a, a devil on my shoulder or something. Do you remember doing <laughs> It's, See if it's, you can find it, it. Like I think recording and listening to the show is never as funny as someone saying what happened on the yeah, show yeah. because it sounds like the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it was hard to hear because like it was literally there were two other conversations happening, but you were like yelling at me. I Nobody really... listens to you because you're the oldest person in here, and that'll get. Worse. I do really enjoy the Headgun Podcast, especially when uh, Jeff is mean to you. <laughs> That's every episode. Yeah, it's yeah. great stuff. It's great fodder. That's so rude. <laughs> anyway, this episode, this is what I thought of. Yeah. yeah. Segment one. Let's brainstorm segments that we can use. Segment I two. I was going to bring one in, but I was like, no, they probably have like an hour of segments. So no, nope. of course not. And yeah. also, you know, I yeah. was at a caviar restaurant. Yeah. So. <laughs> you were at a caviar restaurant? I was at a caviar restaurant. Meaning like, they only had I caviar? I spent beyond my means to... Sort of impress a dame. I was see. that that was a Valentine's Day? That thing? was like yeah. Price fix. And that was or... like I wish your, it was pre Does she yeah. like caviar? She loves roe. 
bro. She loves sardines. Okay. She loves tinned anything. She's big into fish. <laughs> yes. So your she girl is a fish, is a fish girl. <laughs> and she's a fish wife. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my god. She's a fish girl, and she's, she's gone, gone to too low, but she doesn't know <laughs> trout to have. You can eat <laughs> eggs on your poor man's money. <laughs> you can have caviar on your bones. <laughs> Um, they had bone spoons. I see. Yeah, nice. like little yeah. ones. Human yeah. bone. Yeah. So, right. If you can be an organ donor, you can be a bone donor. <laughs> a boner donor. A boner donor. Oh, Did you just swing. make that up? That was so fast. A boner donor? Yeah. yeah so, let's no. see. The way my mind works with the boner donor. We don't have to get into okay. it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, segment ideas. I mean, we can always go to the well. The what if classics. we plan the worst possible vacation that you could go on now when you have a one-year-old daughter? Oh, interesting. That's and nice. then he has to do. But it, it has to be like of... a three-day itinerary, and it has yeah. to actually be things that would be terrible to this do. This kind of reminds me of a little thing I would play sometimes at uh, on like dinner dates with other friends. Mm -hmm. I would ask the question, "What's one place you want to go?" Uh, one place that you want to go back to yeah. and one place that you'll never want to go again. Um, so it's kind of travel based. And this is as they're like urging you out of a restaurant. Yeah, this right? is me. <laughs> this is me drunk on caviar. <laughs> I'll never go here again, for example. Um, so I have a good one for a place that you wouldn't want to go. Wouldn't want to go? Yeah, with a one year old. Oh, yeah. Uh, when I'm thinking about um, exotic places to travel, I remember two trips that my friends took that scared me from ever going to these countries again. And they're usually like uh, third world adjacent countries without running water, uh -huh. without like, you can't drink the water. Yeah, You'll yeah. get like food poisoning. There's not a lot of electricity. Right. Like uh, I had a friend who once got food poisoning at the Sahara Desert. Yeah. So he was just sort of like traveling the Sahara, no bathroom, food poisoning, yeah, wiping his ass with sand. So bad. Yeah, so you wouldn't so, want to so have dehydrated. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I mean, that one's like not even, that one's like not even remotely on the table. You wouldn't you go know? to the Sahara. You wouldn't do like a safari style desert trip. I feel like that could be not good though. Because when I was young, kid, no. my yeah. parents took me on like immunity trips. Immunity right, trips? Right, where they were just kind of like. Drop me off on their way to Europe. Yeah. And then, you know, I would be in, like, mm. you know, Casablanca. I would be, like, you and know, traveling down you the towards the sub Saharan, right? That would yeah. give you the measles, uh, the mumps. They would Scarlet hire locals rubella. to bottle feed me river water. <laughs> 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 so it would be Giardia this. It would be, you know, I had uh, skin so lesions much. from shingles, yeah, yeah, for the better part of it. You were you lived in a leper colony, didn't you? Well, I was I was gifted. Yeah. With, you had uh, turkey pox, yeah. which is like chicken pox, but almost game year. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. I had a. Uh, I had a peaking duck pox. <laughs> My skin looked like You're what right. you would get. Yeah, yeah sort of some. like a rubbery chicken. Yeah. We actually, we but recently... I slept in a bow for like a year. In of the, a ship? The... <laughs> a bun. Yeah, the white oh. bread, the soft Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow, I was yeah. like hoisin. Yeah. You know, I would shower in hoisin. I, I would get in a bow. Yeah. I, was, I was poisoned with hoisin. How so? <laughs> I, had, I had food hoisoning. You had soisoning, soy poisoning from hoisin. <laughs> anyway, so that's a... One example of a segment we, we, could we, do. we wait. Can I tell the story that we we actually bailed on a vacation that um, I realized was going to be bad for the baby? Is this the Costa Rica? Yeah. Oh, we already talked about yeah, this. Didn't yeah, we? yeah. You were like you were planning things and it got spiraled out of control. Yeah. And you invent, you eventually said no. Exactly. This and is something you planned for everyone else and then bailed. Uh, yeah. So I sent I sent Jill and the baby to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> wait, really? No. Um, but I, we also I was looking at Cut the that. Azores. Have you ever looked into the Azores? No. The Ozarks? That's right. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Azores? The Azores are they're um they're part of Portugal. They're like an island like way out uh in like the middle of the Atlantic. Um and I think it's like kind of cheap to fly to and it's like not that far away because it's so far out in the Atlantic that it's actually like a shorter flight. Um it might even be like the equivalent to like flying to Iceland. Mm. Um and it's this up and coming tourist destination. It's gorgeous. Uh, and then as I was kind of planning that, I just like was looking up all of the stuff to do there and it was all hiking. Yeah. And I was like, well, outdoor I, activity. Yeah, I can't, that sounds really awesome, but I can't do that with a stroller. stroller. Yeah. yeah. Baby Bjorn. Yeah. And it's just like weighted. The Baby Bjorn, they're fun for a little bit, but that's not an all day thing. Yeah. Does it, it hurt like, your back? It hurts. It, I mean, it hurts your shoulders. Eventually, the baby wants out. That's not like... It's not comfortable for baby to be in the Bjorn. Yeah. Um, Nobody and... puts baby in a Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody puts Fuck. baby Bjorn in a Bjorn. Uh, so, yeah, it's they're good for a little bit. But, like, going on, like, a three-hour hike in the Azores, 
that wouldn't fly. That wouldn't be good for Opa. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, so that's one example of a segment. All right, we're talking about bad vacations. Destination. destination. Uh-huh. Uh, the other day, I thought of Vertle, which is sort of a fertile verbal Wordle, if that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> yeah, it's like playing Wordle, but all in your mind's eye. So you're not actually writing things down. You're just playing, saying, an automobiles. Mm. That was an example of a pretty good seg. Yeah. Uh, oh, how about a, how about I say something um, like an event, and then you have to say the year that it happened. For instance, Carmageddon. Do you remember Carmageddon? Yeah, they were working on the 405. They shut it down. They told everyone to leave the yeah. city. When it, was that? This Well, this is the fucking right. game, right? Carmageddon. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a funny name for it. Yeah, yeah there, was it the 405? It wasn't the 10? They was, shut down like- Yeah, it was the 405. It was the 405. Okay, and they're so, like, everybody better leave town because it's going to fucking back everything up for miles and nobody will be able to get anywhere. This is going to be Carmageddon. Yeah, and then it happened like over a weekend and they finished it in 24 hours. Everybody left and like every freeway was completely like perfect and nice and it wasn't that big of a deal. That kind of yeah. happened with the 10 in like December Yeah, or the fire. Yeah, the, the warehouse fire. All right. Mm. I would say Carmageddon was 2015. 2015. You think we were here? I think so. Interesting. I don't think it was 2015 because I feel like I would have heard of that. Of but that. when did you go to USC? 2015. Mm. But fall. 2014. 2014 feels <laughs> right. Casey, can we look it up? Carmageddon 405. Go to your homepage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your lock screen. The news article <laughs> from that day, I remember. Great name. And I think the name scared people into actually not yeah. driving. Yeah. That name really stuck. Yeah. That was actually next to my high school. They were like fixing a bridge over the 405, so they had mm. to shut down the 405. 2011. 2011. Wow. I fucking knew it. I should have gone with my gut. <laughs> <laughs> what does it matter? It was when I was living in LA the it's first right. time without it's, you. It's got to be that he's sleep deprived from parenthood, right? It's like no. sleep deprived. I slept 12 hours last night. So <laughs> I tried to help him out. Jill and the kid aren't even living with me right now. So it's probably right. bad. Fine. Yeah. It's not sleep. That's not the issue. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably that. No, I'm happy about it. So, so what just the fuck sweet. are you crying wow. about? Yeah, the get it. Yeah, it can't be that. You, did, you also didn't guess. <laughs> I did. Only I guessed. I said 2014 or 15. It's too late for me to say 20. What was it? 11. <laughs> you don't even remember. What if you say first and last name of like, <laughs> you know? A past oh, lover. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say I could try to guess all of. I could try to guess the number of people that you slept with based on um, how many of them I can remember because I feel like we talked about it. And a then lot. we'll put the list on the board. Yeah, so and I'll come we'll up sort with of all go the names. one by one. Yeah, and then you'll tweet it and you'll see if it gets like, or match the name to the canceled. face of everyone Amir's ever had oh. <laughs> <laughs> or had biblically <laughs> had. <laughs> I've only been with one lover actually. That's only because you've only loved one of the people you've slept with. Dink. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky Jr. <laughs> uh, that's actually good. It's uh, coming up with names of celebrity junior, and we have to guess whether that's actually true or false. Yeah, true. So for example. We can call it Trunior. Yeah. <laughs> junior or false near. <laughs> yeah. These are hard, actually, now that I'm thinking about them in real time. A lot of the times you come up with the the HeadGum podcast, it seems like in the room slash on the day, you yeah, have like we headlines. We stumble that you into just read. stuff, but yeah. it's more organic than us all brainstorming segments, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that same that came across so much ruder than I wanted to. No. There's like, something like, this is you, bad. <laughs> yeah, but what this I have isn't is what I do is right great. Because you brainstorm solo before the show starts. I think it's just I have outlines and yeah. it seems like I don't. Yeah, right. I want to <laughs> which is worse. Yeah, I want to show people how the sausage gets played. Played, yeah. yeah. How did this sausage get played? Oh, we can and write a, a country of, song. What's that? We could Beyonce write a country style. song together. Beyonce is coming out with a country album, so we thought that we would come up with our own country album. There you uh, go. So yeah, you, he rips from the headlines. Yeah. So I think that's actually something that we could learn from. So like he takes that. current, excuse me, he <laughs> takes current events. Yeah. And he kind of like brings it. Sorry, I'm he trying, was, yeah. Yeah. Continue. This, this yeah, I feel like this happens a lot on the head. <laughs> I'm just agreeing. Too. Yeah, but like you're you're <laughs> like. You're active listening, but yeah. it's actually more actively interrupting because it's like now I'm. I feel like it would of... be weird if I didn't no, say anything. See, it's, you, what's you, weird you, is that that's you wait, a conversation because you wait for your turn to talk. And yeah, it's, you can you see it in your. Isn't eye. that good to wait for your turn to talk? No, no it, 
Yeah. yeah. It's it's good to it's good to listen, to hear, to yeah, digest. Then when it's your turn to so talk. You're, then you're when... talking over me right yeah. now. Not really. I'm waiting for you to finish your sentences and then I interject. No, but you're only think you're not thinking about what Jake's saying, you're thinking about what yeah. you're gonna say now. Like what was I just talking about? You were talking about uh ripping from the headlines. No, because it took you, you know. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> it was that. It wasn't that. It was definitely it that. It was it was that, but it was in context with how you don't do that. And the way you <laughs> don't Respond is yeah. incongruent with what he says. Yeah, so and it's incongruous. I don't. Yeah, I'm trying to understand and become a better co-host and friend to you guys. Finally. But I don't understand what you're trying finally. to say. Yeah. Finally, you're finally. saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Finally. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> but don't leave it at that because you want to placate him. <laughs> yeah. Leave it at that because you agree that this is. I don't bad. want this to Let's be a pure it. victory. Is what I don't want. Nor a Faustian bargain. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be Puric or Faustian at the end of the day. Uh, okay, let's take a break. We'll come back and we'll write a country song. How hard can it be? Whoa, we're yeah. really going to do that one? Let's do that one. <laughs> All right, we're back. Um, I don't know. Is country music still just about like fucking pickup trucks and the country? Or like, is there a new sort of slant that Beyonce has taken? You know music. What mm. if we get Casey to play a royalty free country music backing track okay. and then we sing on top of it? Nice. That's and good. We and it could... has to be royalty free. It, well, you know, because yeah. otherwise we don't want to pay any royalties. Yeah, exactly. Um, maybe Casey could lob up a word and then you sing a song about that. I see. So or a vertical improv. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. Which I could probably figure out on the day. I have, I'm not really musical or improv but I feel like when you put those two I together. I thought you were well, you know. Yeah. I love the show, but I thought you guys were going to write a Broadway musical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's we, true. I actually have it in my on my to-do list. I, I wrote the opening number of a pop punk musical. Really? Yeah, I did. I feel like Jake's trying to push it over the finish line, and you're kind of like, you know, <laughs> no, not finish line. Anyway. That's the, you the are, beginning line. Are kind of like, <laughs> what is it? Like an anchor? You're something that drags. No, because anchor is like, oh, that's a grounding force that keeps <laughs> right. us, you know, from yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's a hole in the ship. You're sand you're a, you are... in my pockets, weighing right. me down and drowning me at the beach. Wait, that's perfect. <laughs> you're sand, sand in my, my pockets, <laughs> weighing you me went. down. Really Drown. old country music. <laughs> Drowning me on the beach. You're like a corn cob pipe. What do you know about this Beyonce album? Is it actually going to be country, or is that what people are assuming? Is it actually out yet? I saw she was scantily clad, mm -hmm. and I didn't know it was an album announcement. <laughs> okay, it was just a picture of I was of like, Beyonce. oh, Beyonce looks great. Yeah. And then um, people are like, that's a, that's a country album. I know it. Somebody was like, oh, she's releasing a country album. And I was like, oh, that's funny. And she, they were like, no, she is. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and when did she announce that? And then charge. they showed me the photo of her, uh -huh. scantily glad. glad. And I was like, oh, that yeah. wasn't an album announcement. And have specifically country? Yep. Or is it going to be like country with a Beyonce twist? Yeah. Probably that. Yeah. But it's her version of country. Because she's from she Texas. Is, yeah. Right? She, I feel like there's plenty of Beyonce songs that have a little bit of a twang to it. Tracy Chapman won a CMA. Beyonce mm. said, I want that. And so I she released see. an album. But when Tracy, did Tracy Chapman, Chapman won, get the CMA? She won because of Country Star yeah. covered Fast Car. Oh, I see. And that's why they performed together at the Grammys. Yes. I see. And now Beyonce's like, okay, why don't you fucking turn single ladies into a southern album? Yeah. Beyonce is coming for Tracy Chapman. <laughs> She's pitting herself against Tracy. That's yeah. crazy. Chapman. That's cra <laughs> She's crazy Chapman. She's, that's crazy, man. Did you, did you guys ever play Crazy Taxi? Oh, yeah. On I feel like Tracy Chapman should release Crazy, <laughs> crazy Taxi. Taxi style follow-up to Fast Car. Oh, Tracy Crazy Taxi. Taxi. Tracy Taxi. Tracy Taxi. By Fast Chapman. <laughs> And it's a game starring Tracy Chapman. It's singing. a game with an original He's song. He's a fast car. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome! <laughs> right? I think I could sing in a punk band. I don't think so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you can barely talk in a punk band. Are you releasing another? What's the name of your band? Oh yeah, Fade on Shuffle. Fade on Shuffle. Um, any new Fade on Shuffle music in the pipeline? I don't know that there's any in the pipeline. We do have a. You're falling out with the guy. What's his name? Yeah. Gareth? Gareth. No, we're we're tight. We're tight. We're tight. Um, we have we have a four, four we have four songs on this album actually. Didn't I write one of them? Yeah, is that uh, true? Yeah, yeah. Purple vest. What is it? Or yours is uh, just called vest. 
Yeah, yeah. It was about a guy wearing a purple vest of prom. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's like about a um, class clown. Right. Yeah. Um, and then there's my debut song. Then oh. there's um, another one. Uh, and then he covered um, I Can Go the Distance, the Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> so that one is sort of unrelated. Well, yeah. That one is just kind of rounds out the album yeah. with like a good song. Well, speaking of rounding out an album with good songs, how are we on the royalty-free country music track? Um, I think I got a couple options. Wow. Okay. Okay, this is cool. Uh, do you want to hear modern country? I don't know, Jeff. Do you listen to country music? Is that a, like is it having a moment or is it like am I? I think it's having a moment, but I don't really listen to it. Interesting. Oh, we yeah, I got to put on our headphones, or will it play over the speaker? Uh, I can play it over the speaker. Okay, speaker it. You look like an idiot then. Because you just put on headphones for no reason. This oh, sucks. <laughs> oh. Sounds like a What do you want to hear a country song about? Pick up trucks and blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I got <laughs> boots and keys. <laughs> you have boots and keys. And keys. So it's just kind of about like everything that he's gathering for his day. Yeah. Where's my freaking hat now? I swear I left it over there. He's 91 <laughs> years old. I think I lost my hat, but here's my belt buckle. Got it. So this is incredibly. So it's like phone keys wallet, but what is this yeah. person's version of yeah. phone keys wallet? Right. It's teeth are missing probably. <laughs> There's my other sock pin. Put it out and my boot goes there. Where's my damn spur, woman? Where's my fucking hat now? I swear I had my keys. A second ago, I had my keys. <laughs> this guy has dementia. This is not a fucking saw. <laughs> He's alone in a room. Oh, there's my hat. <laughs> it's over there. Putting a carrot on his head. <laughs> Where's my damn salad? His wife. You were eating a salad out of chicken Caesar wrap an hour ago. <laughs> Honey, you see my phone charger? A skeleton on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> a rotting wife. <laughs> Let's get a new song and a new stuff. <laughs> Where are my damn spurs, woman? You have keys to your car, but you also wear spurs? Yes. Spurs are for a horse. I have a boot. You have one boot? <laughs> a boot and a key, and they're both missing. <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> I've got another. That was the worst now. song I've ever heard. That was awful. Right, this, this, so it's a competition. My song. Where's my damn hat now? Yeah, great. Which country is just song. a guy who can't find shit. <laughs> so let's give let's give Amir um, a country song. Yeah. Yeah. This one's called uh, Western Country Rock. Cool. Okay. Where's my damn poster? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god, he fucking puked! He's puking! Alright. Um. It's the worst one that could have been picked for a beer. <laughs> it all sounds like a Ford commercial. Yeah. It's absolutely sick. The new F-150. I seen cars bigger than that in my garage. <laughs> this isn't a song yet. This is the lead in. <laughs> yeah, this is the lead in. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> big house, big keys. Hey. Oh shit, I'm one foot three. Everything's big to me. I'm a little man. <laughs> Hanging out <laughs> with tall folks. <laughs> Makes me say small jokes. Oh yeah, I'm 15 inches high. <laughs> I'm a little guy. With a big dream. <laughs> and that dream is to be two foot nine. <laughs> Pretty fucked up if you ask me. All right. So that one was about, about a, 15 a really man. short yeah. cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> with a, is it a big house or it's a fine, like a normal well, house? I think it's a normal right. house, but to him, big everything house, is big. big. The keys, keys are huge. Yeah. <laughs> Even the keys are so big because it's yeah. that small. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what mine's gonna be about. I have to hear the beat. Exactly, and, to, and then yeah, it just it sort of comes, it comes to, to meaning. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, I got two options for you, right. Jeff. We've got banjo country music, mm. and we have upbeat acoustic country. Uh, let's do banjo country. And then, of course, during the music, somebody goes, this is royalty-free, right? Yeah. 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 So that nobody Audio steals jungle it. originals. Audio right? jungle. See? <laughs> It's the name of our band. Walked on into my own bedroom, saw my wife having sex with Farley, and he's the town harlot man, and my wife did me wrong. That's good, yeah. My wife did me so damn wrong, she didn't just cheat on me, she also drained my bank account. Oh, I had a Vanguard, and she sold that stock that I had to pay tax is on the stock <laughs> took my keys <laughs> melted keys. them down to yeah. sterling silver and a block and shoes <laughs> she showed it to me and laughed with joy she said you're never getting back inside the house with this <laughs> she did me so wrong in other ways she sold my hat yeah. collection that I loved it's like it's all related. took the cash <laughs> yeah. melted it down to a <laughs> sphere doing that. showed me the sphere said this is your hat <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Seems like a lot of it was destroying things and putting them into weird 3D shapes. Wow. Pyramids, spheres. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, prisms. Yeah, well, in country, <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> Daisy May did me wrong. Yes, mm. exactly. Yeah. So uh, I guess vote below which song do you want to hear in its entirety. Yeah. We'll pay $50,000 to record it like uh, they did back in the day like yeah. you'll you'll see Dolly Parton oh I gave all my money to this producer right they went to this small record place which is now famous because fucking Dolly Parton was there in the yeah. 50s yeah. and they laid down a full album that's right. what I'm hoping for Studio <clears throat> H&G is like mm. I want to be a part of what people will look back on as history. Music yeah, history. Like, wow, can you believe that studio? Look at all the comedy legends that yeah, came in. Like there. when the, the Beatles Get Out musical. Right? Exactly. Or the exactly. documentary. Do you right, guys right. watch that? Yeah, we should be. Back. We should be yeah. filming more docs that's while cool. people are coming yeah. in. You know? Like TikToks? Yeah. And that's Tick, what my initial... TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, which is a doc on TikTok. Yeah. Even a tick mock might be nice. I don't mind a tick mock you meant. Yeah. A tick mock? Actually, I sent you... Um, Anyway, I should finish this out. Was uh, vote below? Do you yeah. want to hear Jake's um, fully produced? I can't find anything. Where's song? my damn hat now? Yeah, where's my damn hat? Do you want to hear? I'm a one foot three inch cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, my wife did me so wrong. Yeah, my wife was <laughs> melting various things. <laughs> um, let us know below, and uh, we'll see you on the other side of these messages for the last segment, which is going to be insane. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you to Helix for sponsoring this episode of our show. Woo! Holy smokes, Jake, you sleep on a Helix. Yeah, I'm in LA right now. You live on a Helix. Yeah, I miss my Helix. Yeah. Yo, you didn't bring it out? No, I should have. I should have. Well, you know how easy it is to take their sleep quiz, right? Yes. Well, not easy, but let's 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 not call it a quiz. I don't they like call that it a quiz. It's like a two minute quiz. Yeah. You say how you sleep, and then they match well, you with a perfect okay. mattress. They say what? They they say based, what? Based. <laughs> Based on your answers, they choose. can you say they, what they say? They select. What do the, the What do the talking points say? Um, Why don't you read it verbatim instead yeah. of calling the quiz easy? Well, it's like a two minute quiz. Does it say that it's easy? Uh, it's a sleep quiz. Great, uh, <laughs> great. Yeah. Why don't you stick to the talking points, asshole? <laughs> oh my right? God. Why are you mad at me? Because you're calling the quiz easy, and it's actually more of a test. No, it's not a test. It's a very simple quiz. It's actually very important. Yeah, that that's I agree simple. that it's important. It's complicated. Yeah, it's a sleep quiz you take. They, they ask you, like, how do you sleep? Where do, what do you prefer? And then they match you with a perfect mattress. That's that's right for you. That's true. Yes. Uh, and that personalized mattress is shipped right to your door free of charge. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Um, there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it. So, mm -hmm. uh, they offer a 100 night trial and a 10 to 15 year warranty to try out your new Helix mattress. Holy shit. But look, you're not going to need it because the mattress is kind of goaded. And now Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders. Damn. And two free pillows for our listeners. Right on. You just go to helixsleep.com slash segments and use the code helixpartner20. Helixpartner20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long, so hop on it right now if you need to upgrade your mattress, which borderline everyone has to. Yeah, yeah. Um, go to helixsleep.com slash segments and use that code helixpartner20, all one word, all at right. checkout. Love it. Thank you, Helix. Thank you. 
Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode of our show. Bless you. Uh, uh, did I sneeze? <laughs> no, I was blessing them for sponsoring us. Oh, I see. Bless them. Uh, Squarespace is the greatest way to build a website. Gaia <laughs> Zuntite. So you did think I sneezed. That time, yeah. <laughs> Squarespace is the greatest way to build a website. Yes, there it is. <laughs> um, it has very simple drag and drop technology, so you can design it effortlessly. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know how to code at all. Finally. And you can still just come up with a professional looking portfolio or online store. Yes. Exactly. In minutes. So simple. You can even buy a domain name through Squarespace. Oh my God. That's why we hit you with a fresh new domain every single time. Mine this week is HiRodney.com. Hi you, Rodney. Yes. If you have a friend named Rodney that you'd like to say hello to, Hi, Rodney.com. And then you could make the landing page you kind of waving and That's saying cool. hello to your friend Rodney. That's not too dissimilar from mine, which is by Rodney.com. Really? But B U Y Rodney.com. Really? If you want to purchase Rodney. Yeah. A yeah. hello or a chair or something <laughs> right. like that. So you, you can, can buy, just buy Rodney. Rodney things. Right. Yeah. That's actually very interesting. I might cop that. I might buy by Rodney. <laughs> you buy what? I might buy by Rodney. <laughs> bye bye Rodney. <laughs> bye -bye I might Rodney. buy by Rodney. I might buy by Rodney. Yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> you can find out at HiRodney.com. <laughs> uh, well, you can build anything you want. But you should go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use squarespace.com slash segments to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Amazing. So again, it's squarespace.com slash segments. Right. And use that coupon code, that promo code segments. Mm -hmm. So when you're ready to turn that free trial into a real official website for all to see. Beautiful. You get 10% off. They're already low, low prices. Exactly. Uh, so check them out. If you're ever in the need to create a website, remember squarespace.com yep. slash segments. Right on. <laughs> Thanks, Squarespace. <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Ooh, BetterHelp. Yes, it's online therapy. Great. And we can tell you how important therapy is. Yes, imperative. It's very useful to talk to a professional licensed counselor. Yes. But it might be hard to find one. That's when BetterHelp comes in and says, no, it doesn't have to be hard. That's right. It can be easy, actually. That's right. Uh, you just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and mm -hmm. you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. So simple. I've tried therapy, and I found it incredibly helpful. Yeah. You were such a piece of shit before you started, and now you're marginally better for sure. Exactly. And that's just from a few years. Mm -hmm. If you stick with it, there's no telling what parts of your life you can improve. If you find yourself dealing with the depression or anxiety of the world, right. you have a specific problem with your family, friends, job, religion, it's all in play. Yep. And it's all weighing on you. That's right. Uh, BetterHelp is an easy way to talk to a therapist. Uh, so learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Just visit betterhelp.com slash segments. Segments. Yes, and that gets you 10% off your first month. Nice. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash segments. Segments. Uh, and they give you a brief questionnaire. You, you match with a licensed therapist, and you get started very, very fast. Millions of people are trying it already. Yeah. Uh, and it's more affordable and safe than ever because it's entirely online. Love it. So check them out again. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash segments. Thank you, BetterHelp. Thanks. For sponsoring this episode. Assholes. All right, we're back. Yes. Uh, idea I've seen online, but we've never done before, which is, it, feel, it almost feels like an improv game where we alternate saying words. It is an we're... improv game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, okay. uh, this almost feels like a podcast. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. uh, so, yeah, get it together. I am trying to explain what it is. <laughs> we're, we're listening. Yeah, zip, zap, zoop, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is that one? Zip, zap. And then, and then I have a to-go order from Zook. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Wow. The game is we're alternating saying words and trying to create a story, a sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that can potentially be a story. Okay. So we'll go in what order? We'll go like this. Me, Jeff, you. Okay. Me, Jeff, you. See how they run. Eat lots of Zook. <laughs> 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 okay. This is a story about let's find out. Ready? Yeah. You should have, sorry. You should have done a Fat Tuesday episode where you're Cooking jambalaya. Interesting. In the as office. it's happening, then there's a king's cake. <laughs> what were you thinking? You're talking about for this show or for Jake and Amir? I'm talking about for this show. Right. Okay, now. ready? Yeah. This is how the story starts. My sand. 
glass. It's already this is counting. My sand glass. <laughs> uh, that's kind of like an hourglass. A sand glass? I, he said sand. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't have to say glass. <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't said my, I wouldn't have said sand. <laughs> What? By the way, if you had said the, I would not have said Sam. Sure. I so said, this, I the whole box. thing is like glass is what box. ruined it. Glass, it's an hour glass. Sand glass, Sand no running through an hour Just glass. say a verb. <laughs> running. That doesn't make sense. My, My sand, sand glass. glass we could make it four words. <laughs> I'd argue three before it, it not yeah. made sense. Let's start again. Okay. Right. Sand. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Castle. Castle. <laughs> Uh, okay, this actually could be kind of a poem. Just the word. Yeah, yeah. Sand castle, and it, it should be fast, should right? Be, no, there's not like an internal monologue. Yeah, that's what I was like, there's no like deliberation. Yeah. Yeah. Just, okay, you know, ready? Yep. <clears throat> no more mine. No more sand. No more castle. This is like a real fucking good sentence. <laughs> yeah, or story. Yes, ideally it's a story. Wednesdays are fine, and they often could be finer if sand. <laughs> Boxes got wetter when they included pussy. <laughs> sorry. Cut, wrap. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesdays are fine and they could be finer. Yeah. If they got wetter, <laughs> if they included pussy. No, I think there was a. Sand. Is it a global entry interview? <laughs> <laughs> right, so I was just asking, have you ever been to Canada? Really? <laughs> okay, let's try again. And I'm still trying to explain. I feel like we didn't end the sentence ever. The sentence has to stop, and then a new sentence could begin. I thought it yeah. stopped at pussy. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. it did. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah. Talia Hall killed my niece. <laughs> How could that happen? Well, Talia... Saw my niece fucking a sand castle by herself. <laughs> and she ended up feeling not loving very much. The fucking ended up thinking it was... Maybe not ideal. <laughs> so Talia went <laughs> apeshit and bought a sand. <laughs> that Duh. one was really good, actually. <laughs> it felt like we were sharing one brain. Like, yeah. that's a story I could have easily told by myself of <laughs> venue in Chicago <laughs> killing my niece <laughs> for fucking a sand. It felt right, right? Yeah. yeah. Talia saw Jake's niece <laughs> fucking a sand, sand castle, castle, so she went and bought a, a sand. <laughs> yeah. Because it wasn't ideal. <laughs> yeah. This, le this is less than ideal. I'm going to lose my shit. Buy a sand. And then we've never done improv like this. This is supposed to sort of get you loose and creatively aligned. I've Can I be on a Herald team? I don't care. I want a mod. Team? Computers. What? Run. <laughs> I want a mod, Apatow. <laughs> okay, one more. Ready? Yeah. Vanilla. Bean. Sand. No. Done. <laughs> Cut. Print. That was awesome. The world's shortest sad story. <laughs> Edging out baby's shoes never worn for Vanilla sale. bean sand sounds like something that would be at, like, the French laundry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Salt and a, plate, a plate with just loose sand on it. <laughs> This is actually vanilla bean sand. Uh, it's $38 and you sort of <laughs> chew on. Oh, wait, that's the salt. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I went to a fancy sushi restaurant. They had stuff like Name? that. Uchi. Where's that? West Hollywood. Well, it was, mm. it was like an Austin, Houston staple, and they just opened one in West Hollywood. Oh, yeah, nice. we went to Uchi when we were in Austin that yeah. time. Very nice. But, like, you were... You were such a picky eater when you were young. I remember you yelling at the waitress asking for a teriyaki chicken bowl. Yeah. And you yeah. said they were like a sushi restaurant. And you right. said, do you And I said, you have... don't have chicken here then? <laughs> oh, that doesn't really sound right, does it? Because you said you're a restaurant. Yeah. So why don't you have chicken? <laughs> said, we have grilled octopus. We have a summer squash Oh, so you salad. have a grill. 
Because you were just saying that you didn't grill anything. So now I don't believe you about the chicken. So we got kicked out of that version. And sure. then I ended up going last night to the West Hollywood edition. Very... Is my picture still on the wall? It's it's outside and it says, do not feed this man. <laughs> it was very Instagram model chic. Yeah. Have you been to these places before? The place I went last night was very Instagram model chic. It was a lot of like attractive people taking pictures of themselves and the food. With the food. It was with yeah. the selfie. It was like selling sunset looking women. Where was it? It was on Melrose Place. <laughs> the show? Yeah, <laughs> no wonder there was a thousand people there. It was popularized in the Fox <laughs> fucking nighttime soap opera Melrose you know, a Place. A funny bet would be that you like whatever you have to go back to this place and ask the server <laughs> Um, do you guys have any like eating challenges or contests? <laughs> like, how how, how much, much fish toro? would I have to eat this for yeah. it to be free? Yeah. <laughs> Can I eat a thousand dollars worth of salmon from New Zealand to where you guys would put my picture up? If I have a hundred pieces of cut roll, do I get my picture on the wall? <laughs> yeah. Like, have, has anybody ever done that? And if so, would I get a free T-shirt? What's your version of the Vermonster? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's a Ben and Jerry's forty scoop extravaganza where if you finish it, you get your photo on the wall. Wow. Do you have that for raw fish and rice? Because <laughs> they shouldn't have it for dairy so i thought maybe you perfected the monster anyway eating at this restaurant with instagram models made me realize that's such an easy way of creating a restaurant you incentivize really attractive people to want to eat there so that people bring them there they spend we spend i think seventeen hundred dollars for the two of us for dinner yeah yeah and then <laughs> that was probably just profit close to $1,000. This is yeah. something like, I never there understood for about you growing up in L.A. and then choosing to come back and staying here. It's like like your your brother's had it right with going to the Bay Area. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like Don't know where my this place lives. is yeah. for yeah. people who look like that. Yeah. yeah. Me or – There aren't many spots for guys – like you yeah. and Casey. <laughs> what? what? Sorry. You're doing the sentence game again. <laughs> I just, you know, it's like and Where does know, he look like you should live? I'm trying to I'm trying to pinpoint it. Probably Silver Lake. Probably no. San Gabriel. Where's yeah. that? It's by Sierra Madre, but you couldn't do Sierra Madre because that's yeah. kind of a cool place. Yeah. I feel like the San Gabriel Valley where like the good like Asian food is. No, because uh, that I don't want you walking distance to dim sum. I want you to like be near a lake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Have you ever been to Dirt Dog? No, I've never heard that. Because that's what you are. Because <laughs> you're a dirt what? dog. <laughs> you're saying I can't even walk to get Asian food? I look like I belong in a place that's far away from a dim sum restaurant where I I'd think have to take an Uber? you should live in a neighborhood or a town where your idea of a, like a, going out to a nice dinner yeah. is a hot dog restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have it. Some people have it and other people don't. You, you went to high school people? in Bel Air. I wasn't born with it, but I got it. Interesting. You weren't born with it, and you can't detain it. He was born with it, still has it. Really? Casey's so, always had it. Jake could have his pick of the lot in terms of where he wants to live. Yeah. Like, for example. He's a 10 in Austin. He's a 9 in LA. Thank you. He's a 9.5 in New York. I could live Dead. in Bondi, mate. Meaning? I could move to Australia and probably learn to surf pretty fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I could do that, too. I, no, well, could... you could move to Australia for sure. Yeah. Maybe, but you'd be, maybe you know, Perth. Yeah. yeah. That's maybe fine. Perth, it's maybe still Perth. like a coastal city. Exactly. Well, you know, no, you know. maybe Alice Springs. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I don't know Alice. Where that is. interior Australia. Vibe. I wouldn't mind you in Speaking Glasgow. Of, so you what can is wear that? the shirt. I, that's oh, why you're, my shirt you know. says Australia. You don't think I could wear that shirt? I think you no could wear the shirt, chance. but it would have to be in Perth. He said no chance. What about Glasgow? <laughs> I don't want to live in Scotland. He's Edinburgh. You're Glasgow. The weather's bad. I don't like being. How about Red Deer? I don't mind Red Deer for you. Yeah. Where is that? Uh, northern, northern Canada. Yeah, it's sort of like where the water runs very wet, yeah. but where the population <laughs> runs thin. Where, where it only thaws in the in the July and August months. A that river runs is. through it? Yeah. But you would <laughs> divide the population thus that you would end up being a, an island man. I yeah. prefer living in warm cities, giant metropoli, where I can interact with people, see new things, yeah. mm. sports, concerts, culture. Are you familiar with- You guys with... are urging me yeah. to move to a you very like remote- culture? Yeah, You like I'll seeing take culture? In, I'll That's... take in a museum or, a, or not a, a festival. A are you I'll... familiar with Pura Vida? Living life to its fullest? In Costa Rica? Yes. People do that? 
Okay, then what do they do? I can do that. What is it? No, that's what I was going to say. Do you, and that. have you ever heard of La Dolce Vita? Yeah. Like this, my sweet Being life. in Italy, yeah. yeah, my sweet life. Like yeah, you would never that. have that feeling. <laughs> Why? Like you would be sad eating gelato even. No, I, I wouldn't. I love ice cream. <laughs> you don't like ice cream. I don't love it. <laughs> I could see you converting to Belarusian. Yes. You can't convert your nationality. You'd find a way. You could. You could be from <laughs> Minsk. Yeah. What does that mean? That you could I'm, wear a mink in Minsk. I, <laughs> I'm not Russian. I'm saying I prefer to be in. We're like not a Russian. Wh- Belarusian. Well, you from said Belarus. Minsk. Is Minsk in Belarus? I think Minsk is in Belarus. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? You have a lot of talents. Yeah, what I'd love they? for them to be contained in they? Belarus. What are they? <laughs> yeah, they, you know, they? putting people on edge. You know, that's sort of like. I a, think I'm very illities. naturally curious. I think you're very <laughs> naturally. Off kilter, yeah. and I think I'm I'm like a social chameleon where you can drop me into any social situation. I think you I have the start... skin of a chameleon. Yeah, you have blending. you have a you have a wet, dry kind Flakiness. of vibe, almost like Flaky, a scaly, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Scaly. But like when you see me, and you I have lizard like... genitalia. I was gonna say, say yeah. that you're Ooh. hung, but it's scales. Yeah, <gasps> and it's barbed. Yeah, I was going to say that I I do a good job of asking people and learning from everybody. But you yeah. were talking about how... No. You do a good job of being a fly on the wall, which people would prefer for you. What? Yeah. Yeah, just like... Like fly into a fly trap. <laughs> exactly. You're a Venus. No. You no. snap at people in, in different ways. Like, yeah. it's not so overt that it's like, oh, Amir's an asshole. You're but not like... good to be around or to be with or to be. You do you what ever, you do yeah. well enough to make a living at it. Yeah. You're never going to be a living legend. No. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've you are dead on max- arrival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I, I maximized. You maximized, but the ceiling talent. was a floor to others. Yeah, you you hit the ceiling of the basement. Everyone else is partying upstairs. I think I was able to parlay. Yeah, um, the fortunate lot I had genetically with what there was cast nothing. I was born into fortunate yeah. and then your being able to sort of turn that you had every and opportunity maximize and actually that it's evidenced it. by your brother's massive success yeah that's what I was going to say um, financially like, and emotionally yeah both of them are so much more successful than you yeah. it kind of proves that you didn't live up to your potential if anything you squandered every opportunity and you mentioned cast yeah oh yeah just being, I was wondering if like you ever got start cast. to like flip it Meaning, meaning, you know, <laughs> porcelain skin is not worth it to them. Yeah. <laughs> so because of like you redefine an entire religion, I think. Meaning, Hinduism. Hinduism. Um, they value other things because they were born, and not in a prophetic way, in a pathetic way. <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> you, that's, that's, we've been circling. You're just, we finally got to the bullseye. You're weird. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're a weird man. You're yeah. a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you had a ways to say it. <laughs> the fucking the uh, the short. Sometimes you gotta come, was, you know, out with Because I feel you know? like, yeah, we were trying to be nice. Not yeah. really. Like, there's no eight point. minutes of calling me a nothing man, and then no, you're I something. Think... It's just what it is is yeah. bad. Right. You're not nothing. You're in fact, you're too much. You're That's... too much of a a bad thing is right. a bad thing. Yeah. Not nec- but not always. Like sometimes you like break through, and then it's like, okay, now that I've been yeah. through that grit and grind and turmoil but I'm it is adversity in- and i would say spending time with you is a challenge yeah that yeah. you can overcome we shall overcome no no no, 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 no not you what <laughs> we <laughs> you won't overcome sing. you <laughs> you don't sing <laughs> i was trying to like ending up on your guys' side joining together so yeah. it's like the three why don't you rather than a two why don't you move combat. to belarus <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. mind if you eunuched yourself in Belarus. <laughs> I'm not going to cut my dick off. That's not bad. I'll move to Russia. I'm not cutting my dick off. No way. Okay. Because there's, there's, there wouldn't be a reason to do that. Okay. Just testes then? No, not the testes. Yeah, why don't we... Not a full castration. <laughs> not any castration. You can still have your fun and eat it too. I think so, <laughs> but not if I cut my balls off. I was going to say with the balls off, you can still have your... Yeah. You know. Yeah. Let's go whole hog. Meaning? Your penis and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> sort of can yourself twisted yeah. and removed right yeah as it were and what do you guys think is like something that you guys aren't very good at like if you're good at dishing it out are you able to internalize any problems with yourself i didn't quite hear what you just said because i was still thinking about the eunuch yeah i was thinking about a haircut you could get that might make the eunuch thing stand out bowl cut. <laughs> yeah bowl cut or a bald yeah. cut yeah. Oh, it's like you put a bowl big, over your head yeah. and then you 
invert it and then shave just where the bowl would be. Right. So there's hair like kind of basically style. fill a bowl with nail pattern mare. baldness. Put yeah. that on your head. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that'll accentuate my lack of You could genitals. do a straight razor shave down to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> so not just the hair, but the skin layers there thus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, drive a tractor. No. As your daily driver. <laughs> Like in the water boy. I don't even know how to fuck. I don't have a license for that. You don't need a license for that. For if you live in Belarus. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, they're not going to be pulling you over. A dickless guy with a bald cut <laughs> and a tractor, no one's paying attention to that guy. You will live anonymously like you do here. You'll blend in in and Belarus. I don't blend in. Yesterday, one of the waiters the at only this issue restaurant I recognized I was going to say, yeah, yeah, the they only knew issue who I was. I don't know if you would be able to get sushi, and you really like sushi. I love it. sushi. <laughs> I feel like let that's me just stay. One... <laughs> I'm asking you to beg you to stay. Okay, maybe you stay as long as you stay, Chase. Yes. <laughs> but I can have sugarfish. You can have sugarfish, but let's take your nuts. <laughs> Still the castration, but I get to be in LA. Yeah, and you have to pay for half my sushi. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> carb, carb, carb. Uh, all right, that was three. Segments of varying degrees of success, I thought. Yeah. Uh, number one was the 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 songs. The yeah. songs were a hit. Songs the songs. Yeah. The songs were a hit. Oh, yeah. we could write songs next time, too. That'd be good. Biblical poems. Yeah. Uh, number two, I'd say, was the brainstorm, though we didn't really get very far. Right, you know? no. Three was whatever happened at the end there. The where story. It, it started as a story, and it ended up with you guys telling me to cut my balls off. We had an intervention. Russia. Yes, exactly. But I, I was doing nothing wrong. <laughs> It was more of an intervention. (laughs) So I walked into a room and you guys just pitched me ideas. Yeah, Yeah. we interviewed. I wasn't doing anything wrong. (laughs) You just wanted to make me better. We punched you up. Yeah. (laughs) That would be fucking devastating. That would be worse than the intervention. Because the intervention is like, okay, I'm rooted in a problem I have. Mm. Right. This one is just, you're just All problems are rooted in you. Correct. Exactly. There's nothing you can eliminate. An intervention, yeah. From this elimination diet. Well, you You can try meditation, but I don't know. I don't see it going well. (laughs) Because then you're alone with, well, you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to see slash be that? Uh, all right. Um, listen to the HeadGum Podcast. Anything else? That's it. Listen to the HeadGum Podcast. That's awesome. We have a, I, episode 200 Whoa. coming up soon. Wow. Is that we should really that March reminds me. We, we got to figure that out. We should cut yeah. that show. What's that? <laughs> that reminds me, just because they're at 200, we should cut that show. I thought we were cutting it way earlier. Than I, that. We're supposed Wasn't to. Wasn't it at we were, I think you didn't want to talk to Jeff, and I was like, I don't want to be the one to say it. But Be afraid of conflict. <laughs> Did yeah. you talk to Katie in Moose? April? Go see Katie. <laughs> Katie <laughs> is here today, so I might slip out. Yeah. I might slither out. Go see Katie. <laughs> Slick. <laughs> Actually sneaking out. <laughs> Fork tongue. Still picking up two parking spots. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave your car in the parking lot here last I night? I didn't mean to. Yeah. I parked to go to dinner, and yeah. then I drank. And I'm responsible. I don't drink and drive. Yeah. That's and it great. was walking distance to your house and here? In a way. Which I only feel comfortable saying because I'm about to move. <laughs> Let's talk about where you're moving to. I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. This is Segments. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. You can see more of us on our Patreon. Patreon.com slash JA. Yeah. Jeff, you edit those. I do. Kind of a secret, but it's in the credits, so that's yeah. fine to know. It's not a secret at all. Yeah. People, every week someone comments like, Jeff edits these? Yeah. Like, I don't have any hard employable skills. Yeah. That's my only hard employable skill. That's actually. good. You're that good. and... You're fast. Networking. <laughs> <laughs> Which I am still available for hire for. <laughs> Send me to a conference and watch me talk to people. Here's my business card. It's like a centimeter by a foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, like noodle. a roll of tokens. <laughs> Vertical too, so it's like a lot of dashes. <laughs> it's a it's a spaghetti <laughs> vertically with writing on it. Yeah. Uh, all right, and we'll be back next week, definitely without Jeff. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. This was a bust for camera. Yep. Absolutely. That was a Hidgum original. <laughs> <laughs>